I was realizing when we were writing this album that most of the music that I love the most is very simple, musically and lyrically, as far as pop music was concerned. And I wanted to just learn a, a good lesson from listening to the music that I love. Among the members of 10,000 Maniacs, there's a feeling that we should only release records um, in which every single song is extremely powerful and moving to us. So it, took, it takes a long time for us to really narrow down the choices for the record. We had at least, I think we wrote about 36 songs, but we had narrowed it down to 13 over the course of a year and a half that it took us to write it and prepare it for recording. The actual recording was great because it only took us a month to actually put the tracks together. It says it's the most live record we've ever done and the least, you know, least stressful recording, I think. We really had a good time. We decided that if we enjoyed ourselves while we recorded, that would come through, and I think it does. The song, How You've Grown, I've seen every single person I've played that song for has cried. Every friend. So. That's the greatest compliment to me if people are moved to tears by any of our songs <laughs> or if they start dancing. record records, I generally don't have a theme in mind, and um, our records are usually, like most bands, just a collection of songs that we happen to write in a period of time before we release the record. I think in the past I, I tended to um, concentrate on the negative aspects of humanity in general, and it's not as if I'm, you know, blissfully ignoring that now. It's hard to avoid that, all you have to do is you know, open your eyes and look around, but I also feel like music can transcend that. And some of my most transcendent moments I've been listening to extremely beautiful music. And songs like Noah's Dove and Jezebel and, and Eden on the record, I think we create those sort of moments. Most of the songs that I write personally start as improvisation on the piano with no vocal involved at all. I have a small cassette multi-track and I transfer the piano straight to that and then I begin singing and I've never ever written lyrics before music the, and I think on this particular album I let the music tell me more what the lyrics are about than ever before I think before if I had a particular subject that I'd been discussing with people over the course of months it, it was almost like a bee in my bonnet that I had to discussing a song. My folly grows inside of me. I eat for two, walk for two, be for two, now. Walk for two, be for two, be for two, now. I think in the other albums it was more apparent that uh, the the point of view was from a character that wasn't me because of gender or age or just circumstance. I'm obviously not a teenage pregnant girl. I'm obviously not a factory worker like in Maddox Table. You know, um, I'm not illiterate like in the song Cherry Tree. These encounters were with people that I knew or I had read about but not necessarily myself. And I think on this album there's some of that but it's often mixed in with elements of um, songs that are not, they don't feel confessional at all, they're just really honest. Uh, we had James Brown's horn section play on two songs on the record. I always envisioned there being a horn section, but our producer Paul Fox actually knew the JGs because he played with Pee Wee Ellis when I think Paul was 17. I think we all enjoyed, I know we all enjoyed working with Paul Fox. He was 
extremely diplomatic person and um, open to any suggestions that we had. There was a very um, collaborative feeling in the studio when we were working together. It was the most enjoyable experience I've ever had in the studio. And I think part of that was also, Peter Asher was a great teacher and he, he gave us so much confidence showing us what the whole recording process was about, that we could relax and you know, work with Paul as almost equal par an equal partnership. I think that if there's any continuous theme in the record, it's just beauty. I wanted to return to what would have been the most moving moments for me in music. I feel like this is an album that only could have been made now because we're just so much more, it sounds so much more confident and so much of our confidence came from making mistakes and learning. We've been doing this for 11 years. And we started out with absolutely no expectations. We never thought anyone would even ever hear us, let alone make a record, let alone have a major label, record deal, and everything else that's happened, so.